Hi, I'm Chris Williams. I'm out here in Lake Erie, and today I'm going to show you how to break down big water. We're running this break wall that goes all the way in downtown Buffalo. It goes a couple miles north, all the way south, and there's three different cuts in the break wall. So I'm taking my electronics, and I'm running down the side of these break walls and looking for cuts, anything that's going to create an eddy, a current break, something in, in that specific realm that's going to give a fish a reason to be there. The water temps are coming up. It's somewhere around 51 and a half degrees right now. Uh, the smallmouth are moving from offshore inshore and they're getting ready to spawn. So the point is you gotta be here when they get ready to spawn. So you've gotta find where they're gonna be and what's gonna drive them to be here so that you can see them and you can catch them. So we're just idling down the break wall and the whole point is looking to see what boulders are the biggest. Are there zebra mussels? Are there bait? What's the, what's the deal and where we're gonna be? So at the end of this break wall, we're heading south right now. So the break wall's got a big cut in it and it creates a giant eddy and we're gonna idle over to it and see what we can see. Is there bait there? Is there anything there that's gonna make them wanna stay? So now we've reached the end of the break wall with the south gap as they call it. This is my high percentage area. This is more likely where the fish are gonna be when they come in to spawn. Uh, mainly because the current is going this way and it's creating a, an eddy and that those fish harbor in those eddies to keep away from the main current. It's a way for the, the bait to come back around to them and give them an easy opportunity for a meal. So let's get to this thing. We'll look at these electronics. I'm going to drill down and kind of show you how I set my electronics up to look at this particular area. Now, when I'm sitting here, I have my screen set up in four different ways. I have my down vision. I've got my side vision pointing to the port side because the eddy and the break wall are on my port side of the boat. And this is your real vision 3D. So it helps me discern what's going on with down vision and side vision all in one. I'm going to adjust the split ratio so that I see more of these three than I do the map because I don't need the map that much right now. Just kind of slowly zoom in. And side vision to me right now is what I really want to see and see what we can find. See if we find any bait, anything going on. Something that's going to keep the fish here. The ability to be able to split these screens and adjust the split ratio on the fly with just a matter of a couple touches allows me to find what I need quick. I'm in a, right now it's rainy. I don't want to be out here forever. I'm kind of in a run and gun situation. I'm looking for the high percentage areas. The water, it's been like this for probably about four or five days. It's been very, very muddy and the conditions just really haven't been right for the smallmouth to move up. So we're waiting for the water to clear out. Once it clears out and that nice, really gin clear water comes in, those fish are gonna follow that clear water. And that's what's gonna drive it. So they don't wanna, they wanna be able to see. That's the most important thing. They wanna be able to see, they wanna be able to smell. And you've got a lot of particulates in the water that muddies it up. They can't see, they can't smell, they shut their senses down, they shut down. They're not gonna wanna be here, they're not gonna wanna eat. You may see them on the screen, but they're not gonna wanna eat. So the point is, let's look for some rainwater. water. When we find it, that's where we start fishing.